Hey, this is Emmy with The Funnel Report. Here are today's top stories. Right after the Time Warner purchase, AT&T is turning into a programmatic advertising giant with the purchase of ad exchange AppNexus. AT&T advertising and analytics CEO Brian Lesser said, ad tech unites real-time analytics and technology with our premium TV and video content. So we went out and found the strongest player in the space. AppNexus has over 34,000 publishers and 170,000 brands in its marketplace and bills itself as the largest ad marketplace in the world. Terms of the deal were not made public, but it is believed that the price tag was close to $1.6 billion. Giving a brand, product, or company a name can be part of the difference between success and failure in the marketplace. Chicago-based Squad Help has been involved with branding, company, product, and brand names since 2011 through a crowdsourced platform in which users can help clients find the perfect name. The company is believed to be the largest naming platform and now will employ artificial intelligence into its process. With AI, customers can employ a visual name search with a variety of possible names appropriate for the industry, complete with a background image and font selection. With one month of beta testing, the AI-powered platform appears to be on its way to success. The cross-platform customer interaction platform Swerve has added Roku to its list of supported digital media streaming platforms. As part of a multi-channel strategy that is focused on revenue and engagement, Swerve helps brands interact with customers on Roku. Each month, several thousand U.S. consumers cancel their traditional paid TV accounts and switch to streaming media platforms, with 54% of U.S. homes connected to video streaming services. It is in this environment that Roku operates the number one TV streaming platform in the U.S. Lisa Cleary, Chief Product Officer of Swerve, said, Swerve is the only platform that lets media companies better know their customers and build direct, profitable relationships with them across all the devices they use. A new study by the June Group found that female audiences are leading a growing trend in value exchange advertising. Women make up 55% of video views on value exchange content, and they surpass men to generate higher video completion rates. Value exchange ad units allow consumers to opt in to receive points, entertainment options, and other digital content from a brand. June Group CEO said, People don't like to be interrupted by advertising, and they are increasingly empowered to avoid it, especially on mobile devices. Value exchange advertising is the safest, most honest, and respectful way for brands to connect with their customers because people engage on their own time in secure, brand-safe environments. That's our news for today. For more information, visit techfunnel.com or connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram.